Good morning, everybody. Are you stuck in a recipe rut? Need a new one? I've got one that I think your family will absolutely love. It's my beef burgundy, and you do it in a slow cooker. Your house smells amazing, and the best part, it's super easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my slow cooker, and this is optional, but these things rock when it comes to cleanup, especially during the week when the last thing you feel like doing is doing the dishes. So these are these slow cooker liners, which are really wonderful. If you don't have these, just spray your slow cooker with some cooking spray. That works really well, too. I've got three cans of cream of mushroom soup, and this is going to make a wonderful mushroom wine, kind of burgundy-type wine sauce to go with our, our beef. It's just yummy. Okay, so three cans. Makes a nice big batch, this recipe does, too. So the leftovers are perfect, or you can freeze those for one of those nights that you just don't have time to cook, and you just want to pull something out of the freezer and throw it in the microwave. You know those nights I'm talking about. Three cans of cream of mushroom soup. Get it all in there. Some dry red wine, a burgundy or a merlot or a cabernet, about a half cup. Who's measuring? We're just going to throw it in there. One cup of water. One packet. Now it comes with two. So this is just dry onion soup mix. And we're just going to use one of the packets. Just throw that in there. And then a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. So the mushroom soup, dry red wine, packet of dry onion soup mix water and Worcestershire sauce. So whisk that all together in your slow cooker. And then I'm going to do some burgundy pepper spoon roast. It's beef burgundy and they have the most wonderful burgundy pepper spoon roast at festival. It's basically a sirloin roast that they've marinated in burgundy and spices and uh, they're just wonderful. So whenever they go on sale, uh, I stock up on them. Um, they're great to have in the freezer, and they just make the nicest roast, but they're also great to do in your slow cooker. So the roasts are usually about three to four pounds in size, but you can get them however you know big your family wants, what size roast your family wants. But I've taken my three to four pound roast and just chunked it up into about two inch pieces. So I'm just going to get all that beef, which has all that great flavor, that burgundy flavor and spices with the pepper, in with the mushroom sauce. Just coated real well. Put the lid on this guy and let it do its thing. So at this point, you know, go do your errands or go off to work or whatever you've got to do. And uh, dinner will be ready in about six to eight hours. You could even throw some mushrooms in there if you wanted to. But here it is. And it gets this wonderful wine kind of mushroom gravy. And I like to serve this on top of mashed potatoes that you can just pick up at the deli. Of course, you can make your own homemade. But my favorite thing to serve it with is just buttered egg noodles. Lots of that gravy. And then a little bit of parsley just to garnish the plate. There you go. It's my burgundy, beef burgundy that you can do right in the slow cooker. So easy and so good. Your family will absolutely love it. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods.